Hello, I am Tracy Jackson. I am the founder of Balance and Beam, which is an online platform for women 40 and over. I love makeup. I've loved makeup since I was 14 years old. Women my age don't really know how to put on makeup. No one shows us. Everything that's out there is really for younger women. We need help. So I have enlisted the help of a really spectacular makeup artist. Hi, I'm uh, Cedric Jolivet. Working in fashion, I always work with like very young girls. With... You do models, you do like young, perfect looking French girls, it's right? It's true, you never see like any tutorial or any even advertising with like makeup on older skin. With this makeup here, can you turn me into a young French girl? I'm gonna try my best. That's what I wanna <laughs> be as a young French girl. All right, so I'm gonna start to like just clean and refresh your skin. So question, before you put on new makeup, you should always take off all the old makeup? Yeah. It kind of depends how it looks, I would say. Like if you had a very light makeup in the morning, I would say you can just try to touch up and add on. But sometimes it can get very cakey. So I think you just start it again. Over 40, 50, your skin getting drier. So I think it's nice to use a rich cream, rich texture. I really love this magic cream from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. You almost feel like butter when you apply it. Now this goes on top of the serums and the vitamins and see. Okay. All your serum before. If the finish of your moisturizer is too greasy, the makeup just gonna go patchy and you don't want that. So yeah, now I'm gonna use a primer. I'm gonna use this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. It's kind of an Instagram filter of the camera. You really feel it. like silk on your skin. Blurs Give a very, a very nice smooth and blurry finish. The older you get, the blurry you wanna get, babe. Use this one like on the T-zone. You don't have to like do the whole face with it. No? I wanna yeah. get like one of those rollers you use for the wall, you know, and just like do my whole. So now, before I start to use a foundation, I'm gonna use like a corrector. This is something that's gonna correct the under eyes color. For example, on Tracy, it's a little brown darker. So you wanna use like something a little more like peachy color. So it's gonna basically cancel this. Google Translate is I have dark circles under my eyes. I've done the corrector after I put on my foundation. Now you're putting the corrector on before the foundation. Yes. Why? You can use a concealer after your foundation, but the corrector is better to do it first. Wow, okay, so I just learned something. I've been doing it wrong. I just tapped with my finger, so it just like... So if people like were kind of going in items of importance, this is an important thing to own is the corrector. In the case your circle getting like a little more dark, I think this is something you really have to use every day. Wow, you're just like correcting up a storm here. So for the foundation, using the Luminous Silk. So I just start with the center of the face to just like, usually this is where you have little redness. Montresi well, is lucky, she doesn't have like brown spot to correct. Actually this corrector I used before, little peachy, would be great to use on top of your brown spot. I will not try to cover them too much because they're just gonna look like you're wearing a mask. What would you say, you know, when you're doing skin this age compared to when you're doing the perfect little French model skin? Don't use too light colors on your skin because you're just gonna hand look like tired or dead. You <laughs> just wanna... <laughs> the dead look. So, so a shade darker than you would have gone in your 30s, you should be doing in your 40s and 50s. Yes. But you don't like that masky look that looks like you just no, stopped definitely. at your jawline. If you get the perfect color, you should not have to worry about that. How do you buy makeup to fit your color online? It's so hard. I or... would advise to go in the store and try it. There's, <laughs> there's some makeup store somewhere near you and figure out what color you are and ask for help from someone who works there. So we did the corrector, we did the foundation, and now we're just gonna highlight a little bit with like a concealer, which is gonna be like a tone a little lighter than the foundation. Take it away, maestro. Mostly for under the eyes and some highlight. I'm using texture like not too creamy because this is what's gonna crease in your little lines. You haven't lived till you've got your little lines. I've earned my little lines. So basically, if you put your concealer without this or NG corrector that might just look gray under your eyes. This peachy corrector help basically to like correct that skin color, then you can use a, a concealer on top. And when, so when you're working on darker skin, you still, just because you have dark skin, doesn't mean you don't have... I actually use a lot of orange corrector on the darker skin So if skin you're African-American or mm -hmm. you're Hispanic, orange will work on your yeah. eyes too. Okay. I'm gonna work on the eyes now. And first, the eyebrows. I'm using the Marc Jacob pencil. Just basically redefine a little bit these uh, eyebrows. The intensity has to be on the arch. This is what gonna give you like kind of a natural lift, like so buttocks for free. You can go a tiny higher than your natural hair to give this little lift effect. 
I would say you choose basically a color which close to basically your root of your hairs. Yeah, I'm using like, for example, kind of this taupey color now. It's always nice to brush your hairs up first so you see where. What is the biggest mistake women make with their eyebrows? Sometimes you'll see people go, do they have a mirror? The worst mistake would be to use a color who is too dark. I don't like too much defined eyebrows, so that's why it's nice to keep it more like a natural shadow. So now we've done the eyebrow, we're gonna go to the eyes. I'm gonna start to curl the lashes. I know a lot of women are scared of this step, but it's very important. I'm gonna use this uh, very natural creamy eyeshadow from Le Glossier. It's like a nice pinky color. It's very fresh. I read all these articles like, you know, when you're a certain age, you should stop wearing eyeshadow. Using too much sparkly eyeshadow. Leave that for the 20 years old. But I love this creamy eyeshadow because they're like super easy to use. It's gonna be a nice primer for your eyeshadow and as well, it gives you a nice little fresh look. But we're gonna go a little farther now. I'm gonna use eyeshadows. I love this like Charlotte Tilbury palette to have like all these nude colors. You basically just use this natural crease you have to put the color in it. I love using like kind of a rounded brush just to give a little depth. For women basically who have less eyelid as you have, I will keep the focus to the lash line. I would not put eyeshadow at all if you have small. What would you do then? I would just focus on the lash line. So catching light seems to be like the big thing, right? The more yeah. light because you catch the less kind of downtrodden This is what you miss usually when you're getting home. You miss this luminosity, you miss like the little sparkle in your eyes. So you just want something to basically well, we bring that back. I don't know that eyeshadow brings back the sparkle in your eyes, but that's a nice, it's a nice French thought. Well, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a black pencil to redefine your lash line. So it depends the shape of your eyes. You can go all the way. On Tracy, I'm just gonna focus on the outside corner. So it's gonna make her eyes less round, a little are more like kitty eyes. I have kitty eyes. I like that. A lot of women are maybe looking at us and going, I don't have that kind of time. Like I think it should take you like maybe 15 minutes in the morning to do your makeup. You don't have to do like all this step. You could just go like a fresh eyeshadow and a mascara. Just do your little skin and that's it. The good thing if you use a pencil on top of your eyeshadow is not gonna crease. Don't forget the Q-tips is always your best friend. And I'm gonna go with the mascara now. So there's the professional clumpy look and then there's just, I don't know how to put on my mascara clumpy look. I won't put mascara on the bottom because it can create these extra shadows and make your circle show more. So I, I like the idea Google to Google Translate, it. it makes you look older to put <laughs> mascara on the bottom lashes, even though I used to love that Lisa Vanelli look. It's nice after you finish your eye makeup, you just like redo a little touch of concealer. And now I'm gonna work on like the highlight and the blush and the contouring. I love to use for that this like Charlotte Tilbury product, like the contour and the highlight. I love that. So I'm just focusing like under your bones here. Then you're gonna use the highlighter and the highlighter gonna go on top of the bone here. I like to use this Natasha Denona blush because they are like the perfect in between cream and powder. So it's nice to put the color when you smile. It's almost like a natural blush. Then we arrive to the lips now. I cannot wear a red lip to save my life. And I used to keep buying red lipstick. I'm too old to wear red lipstick. So yeah, I'm gonna use this like kind of beige, rosy, blushy color on the lips. I love using like the semi-matte because it stays very well. It's not gonna bleed out as much as the creamy lipstick. And for me, if you keep the contour of your lips a little blurry without like a sharp line, this is what can create more volume to your lip. I love to like even go a little bit outside the lips but like in a blurry way so it gives this impression of a bigger lips. My daughter thinks I should get lip injections. What do you think? I would not. I mean for me they always look fake. Why do we use finishing spray? So yeah, I love using this fixing spray because basically it's gonna blur your makeup making looks even more glowy and more moist. Close I love it. It also feels good. Is it a wrap? So yes, we're all done now. Have a look. Oh, look at that. I'm a young French girl. Well, I'm actually not. No, I don't look like a young French girl. But I look much better than when I got here. Now, did you do any highlight there? I said like you did such a good job. No, here I would just keep everything just natural skin tone. Everything is very subtle and still kind of a natural look. You can go in the street, it will look great in the daylight. <laughs> Thank you.
thank you for joining us today for our first video of makeup for women of a certain age. Please, if you have any questions, write in on the video on the YouTube and Cedric, you'll answer them, right? Yeah, with pleasure. Our motto at Balance and Beam is don't disappear. One way of not being invisible is looking your best and one way of doing that is having some nice makeup on your face. Mm -hmm.